This is the Manu Learning Center Medicinal Plant Garden, and Matias and I made this garden last year. We started uh, about the beginning of September. The whole project started in June, but from September onwards, we were involved in the construction of this garden, which involved creating the fence, clearing the area, bringing in the rocks, outlining all the different plant beds, bringing in extra soil that we got from a trail that's pretty far away. Garden. Okay, so I want to start off with one of my favorite plants, which is achiote, also known as a natto. And many of you use achiote when, or you eat achiote when you eat popcorn. And the Latin. Well, this is a big saoriana, so the family is big sassy. And you use the, the fruit, and the fruit has seeds, orange seeds. You can use it for made uh, the fruit and. You can use it for food dye, clothing dye, you can put it on your skin. A lot of indigenous yeah. people paint their skin with it. And you can also use it for pimples and dermatitis, among other uses. And it's a tree, so this grows. It's like gonna get pretty long. Five, six meters. Yeah. And it has very distinctive light purple flowers and the really, really distinctive achiote uh, casing, which is a magenta color and has spikes on it. And you break it open and that's where the colored seeds are. Next, Charcot Blanca. Really, really like this one because of my interest in rheumatism. Uh, it's distinctive because the root has a smell kind of like Vicks. Yeah. It's a really, really medicine-y smell. And these are it's the distinctive... The typical flower. This is a Polygala and the family is Polygalacea. There's two kind of Charcot, Charcot Blanco and Charcot Negro. So there are two different species, Polygala species and the Polygala. Mm -hmm. And we have Costas Productos. Costas Splundi and Costas Barsetum. There are three different kind of caña caña that grows in the, in the area. Roja, Peluda y... Blanca. Y Blanca. Peluda, you can tell, is Peluda because it has a soft underbelly of the leaf. It's very furry. This one, I believe, is Roja. Yeah, I think so too. Roja. I think so. Which you can tell because of this red, I believe. And this is in conjunction with Caña Caña Blanca, mm -hmm. are both used for fever and cough and just kind of general sickness symptoms. And it grows everywhere and it grows very, very large. So we think it's a particularly good species to keep around just because of the ease mm -hmm. in which you can... I think it, uh, the use is you have to braid a steam or have some leaves and then get a, the juice. One or two, three, three drops and then you drink it. Mm -hmm. We have Chunk of Piedra here, and it, we planted them when they were tiny, 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 and as you can see, it's gotten quite large, and it is distinctive because it has these tiny little balls on the bottom of it that look like stones, i.e. Um, piedra, and Chunka means smash it, so smash stones, and it's used to smash kidney stones. And it's grown very large, so we're happy about that. This one. This is this is a chabufeo, it's an anturium. And well used for lower pain. back pain. Lower back pain. Such a bufeo, a wild wolf. So we will skip over Santa Maria and Angel Tana. This is Unia de Gato, translated as cat's claw, and you can tell that it is called cat's claw because of these thorns poking out here which are on every, underneath every leaf underbelly. And there are actually two different kinds. There's the rojo, or three. Yeah, rojo and blanca. And you can tell this one is rojo because of the red that you see here. And also the blanca has much curlier, curlier claws. This is labios de novias, or hot lips. And it's clear to see why it is called that, because of this flower. This is Cascaria Roja, also known as Quina Quina, from which the derivative quinine came. And quinine is the active compound that was used in the first uh, anti-malarial remedies. And it actually has quite a famous story behind it about how uh, biopiracy came into play. And... Yeah. That's guayaba, that's Sidium Guajaba and San Mirtaza family. And, well, indigenous people use the leaf uh, then boil them in order to treat a diarrhea illness. 
you can use well you can mix with marañón or cashew nut or also with uh, the tangarana bark to treat the area. The common name for this shrubbish tree is cocona and as you can see this is the fruit right here and the fruit can be e either eaten sweet or salt by putting salt on it and you actually use the rest of the plant to treat rasca rasca which is a skin condition and it is of the family. It's a solanacea, the same family of potato and it's a solanum sicilifolium. So kion is a very common thing that you would even see in your local supermarket and here you can see the bulb sticking out and it's ginger and so we actually have two uses for it you can make a jarabe or a syrup from from the, the ginger root and use that for diarrhea and then you can also take the, the papa or the root and you can como se dice? mash yeah mash serra right dry get dry and made a power to put in the in the uta in the lesion of the uta and uta is actually leishmaniasis which is transmitted via um, insects or mosquitoes and you can see it in some ancient art where around the mouth all the soft tissue has been eaten away in the, in the sculpture of the person and then you know that they had contracted leishmaniasis and so what you do is you make a, a powder <laughs> make a powder of it and put it on the lesion and that will stop the spread of the leishmaniasis then we have Machico Blanco, which also grows all around this area. And Machico Blanco is used for pain of the lower back and a few. And we actually used it on one of the volunteers here. She had ongos, or fungus, on her feet. And you can see that we wear rubber boots around here. And what can happen is the fungus can spread very, very easily. So it started on her feet and continued to go up her leg. And so what we did was we boiled water, we placed these leaves inside of it, the water went green, and then we washed her legs with it in conjunction with an antifungal, and her infection went away, or her fungus infection went away. 23? Number 23 is guayaba, and it's doing well, so. Number 24 I have is Kion, which is back over there. They have this as 27. 